Hey guys, uh, this is 3D Titan here, and welcome back to the channel. So, this is the part 3 of 3 in the Thor Hammer tutorial series. So, in this part, we'll be creating the materials for this hammer. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I have the hammer uh, blend, dot blend open up for me. Um, and I'm just going to go into material preview. Okay, so as you can see, I have two split screens. So what you can do is basically just go to the top right in this window, our 3D viewport, and just drag, and it should create another window for you. Okay, so in this window, we are we want to go into the shader editor. So this is where we'll be creating our material. Okay, so why don't we click on our hammer, and um, just create a new material. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see we have the principal BSDF and the material output. So we want to change some values in the base color and some other values in these in the principal BSDF. Okay, so we want the base color to be gray. So just pull this down a bit. Okay. Um. Next, we want this to be metallic. So let's pull it all the way up to one. And then we want to change the Roughness to 0 0.4. Found this works for me because we want it to be uh, s sort of reflective. Okay, so now let's create the main part of the material. This will be from the normal. So what we can do is just um, shift A and just create a bump. Uh, add in a bump node. Connect this to the normal. Actually, let's not connect this first so we can just do those things and then we'll connect it okay so now we can also into the we can take the height and add in a color ramp okay so the color goes into height all right so we can keep the black where it is and then we're just going to move this value to like right here okay so all right so this will just create, uh, just tell, it's just giving us the height. So where there's black, there would not be as much height as where there's white. Okay, so we can just move this here. All right, so now we're just going to add in um, the fac, inside the fac for the color ramp. We want to add a wave texture to this. Okay, so, okay, so now we can just take this color and just plug it into fac. So we want to change some, uh, change some of these values here. Right. So first, we want to change the scale to um, forty six. Um, then you want to change the the distortion um, to eighty five. Then we can uh, we want to change the detail to eleven, and that's it. So now we plug this in. We should see uh, this kind of grainy texture. So what this does is, if we zoom uh, zoom in real uh, real close, it's just creating some sort of waves on our surface. And since we took the color ramp, and wherever there's white, it should pop up, and then wherever there's black, it should stay on the surface. So that's how this is working. Okay. So now I'm I'm going to uh, take Add um, add in a mix uh, mix R mix RGB. Right. Okay, connect it to the vector, and then we want to change the fact to zero point seven five. And um, so okay, so we have two in uh, in inputs, and that's the color one and color two. Okay, so in color one, we want to add in a noise texture. Okay, so we can take the color, just put it in here. Okay, so now we want we can just keep all these values the same and just just connect it into a texture coordinate. So take the object and connect that into the vector. Okay, for color two, all we're gonna do is take the object and just object from the texture coordinate and just plug it into color two. Okay. Okay. 
So you can see it's very grainy. And that is because we need to add a, uh, before this mix, we need to add a, um, we need to add the uh, mapping. So basically all we have to, you can just uh, add in a mapping node and it should already uh, plug all the values. Okay, so now we don't need to ver worry about any of these except the scale values. Okay, um, so we want the X value to be seven the y value to be neg uh neg negative 10 sorry 10 um and then the z value to be negative 9 okay so now you can see the grainy textures going away but if you zo still zoom in really close you can still see the wave and you can see a bit of the noise texture okay so now um i'm just going to change the uh, the color ramp just a bit forward. Okay, so now, now we need to change the strength in our buff node. So the strength is too high. It should be zero point one zero eight. And once you did, uh, once you plug that, uh, type in that value, you should see it softens up. So now you can see the faint kind of like scratches on our, on the surface and this creates the um, metal like look to the look to the hammer all right so for the next so this one is this is the metal texture for the hammer and um, i'm going to call it uru this is what they call it in the comic books and the movies all right so now since we separated these two as the hammer and then the handle so what we want to do Instead of creating material straight up from there, we want to go down to the materials and then create a new one. Okay, so now this one is going to be called, uh, we want to create a new one and then call this leather. We can delete this first texture. We don't need it anymore. Sorry. Okay, so in the leather texture, I'm going to be changing some values first in the principle of BSDF. Okay. So this, we want the metallic to be zero since this is the leather has no uh, metallic kind of tint into it. So we want to change this, but we want to change the specular all the way up to 0 0.8. Okay. So now we want the, um, we want, we're going to create the base color. So we want to create a mix RGB first and plug the color into color. Um, so before we change any of the fact, we just want to change the color to the black. Okay. And um, now we can also uh, change the fact to 0 0.6. So, okay, so we changed the values in the mix. Now we're going to create the color one. So I will be, uh, there's a link in the description below and it's the image texture for the leather. So all I'm gonna do is shift it and search up image texture. Okay, so what I can do is I'm just going to press open and then I'm going to go find my uh, leather texture. Okay, so here it is. Right, so now I'm gonna plug in this color into the color one. Okay, so now you can see that leather texture on this, on our handle. All right, so next we want to create the normal. Okay, so for the normal, we're going to add in a bump, just like the other one. Plug it in. And then I'm going to change the strength first to 0 0.175. And then I'm going to add in a noise texture. So this will create that um, leathery type of texture. Okay, so, okay. Okay, so now you can see it looks really weird. That's because our, we haven't changed any of these values. Right now it's at the default, which is huge. And then it'll, it'll look really bad. It's like kind of some sort of wood texture, which is not what we want. Okay, so now what we're going to do is change these values. So the first value we want to change 
is the scale. The scale is 20. Okay, so now you can see this becomes smaller. Um, then we also want to change the details to 16. So you can see that detail coming. And then we want to change the distortion. This will really create that leather texture. So the distortion to 82. So now you see it's softened up. And if, if you look closely, you'll see you still see that noise. But from far, it, it looks like a leather texture. Okay. So it looks like we're done, but we're almost done. In the hammer on the handle, we'll be this areas are metal. So basically, all we're gonna do is take this uru texture and then just apply it to the metal. Okay. So all of this will become it will will add will recreate this mat uh tech material and then apply it for this. So since these are two different um, meshes, we need to just copy all, everything we did for this Uru material, and then go back to the leather material, create a new material, and then we need to, we can delete this, and then just add in our material. Um, call this Uru as well, Uru.001, because we already have Uru. Or we can just go ahead and just, uh, uh, plug that in okay okay so now i'm just gonna go into edit mode and um three so that i'm in face select and then just select these uh faces all right so actually i'm gonna select one more face and that's gonna be down here So these faces will become metal. So all I'm gonna do is click on Uru and then just press assign. So now if we tab out of edit mode, you can see that our hammer is complete. And it looks really nice. And yeah, here's the Thor's hammer, complete. So um, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you liked it. Um, please subscribe and like and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.